If you're looking for old cars, well, the first thing you should do is look everywhere you go. Like, look this way, look that way, ride down the road. Your wife yells at you, will you look where you're going? The second thing you need to do is talk to everybody you know. You know any old cars around? And most people say no. But I call my friend Patrick, and Patrick says, yeah, you know what? A friend of mine, Keith, he's got some interesting old cars in the building here. So, Keith, thanks for meeting us yes, sir, early in the morning. Keith has some cars that he's owned, you know, for much of his life. Yes, first sir. car, mm -hmm. Well, if we could follow you in. Sure. That's cool. Which car have you owned the longest? 68 Camaro right here. Can we uncover it? Yeah, sure. So did you restore it or was it pretty uh, good The shape? only thing I did back then was had it repainted. Uh -huh. Other than that, um, it's, the, it's the same car. And it's been setting for since 98. And it's kind of gone downhill since then. So um, you drove this car in from when to when? 80 to 98. No kidding. And it's, it's a manual gearbox. It's a three speed, 327. All the interior is original except the carpet. How many miles are on it? It's showing 17,000. Uh -huh. Yep. That's 117. Is it pretty solid car? Floors? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very solid. Wow. Very. That was my first car at 16 years old. 16? Yes, sir. 68 Camaro. How much you pay for it? It was either 800 or $1,000. One of the two. I was, I was talking to my parents over Isn't the weekend nice. and we weren't 100% sure. And w had you, w did you see it, it like It was, uh, we were looking for a car for me, or they were, and at that time you could see Camaros that use car lots, you know. <laughs> so we passed a couple 69s. I'm like, oh, I want that. Yeah. And they go, no, nah, you just, you don't want that. Little did I know, they, my aunt and uncle had found this car uh -huh. Uh -huh. and it was for me. Uh -huh. So when we got there, it was there. Yeah. So when you bought it for $800 or 1000 right. did it look like this or? Yes, really? look just like this, except it had hubcaps on it. Isn't that nice? Can you all pop the hood? Sure. Four barrels. Uh, it came as a two. We ended up with a four intake Does and change that how simple and put uh power steering on i forgot that so what's your plan for it when you can start investing some time into it again i'm probably going to go with a with a newer model like an ls, LS kind of thing mm -hmm. and then it's, it's leave not, the body the way it is or yeah. paint it or yeah, what? I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna paint it uh -huh. paint it back the same color yep undecided about the top you know, you, you go to a car show, if you went with this, you'd get a lot more attention. You're right. Than those 20 other Camaros in that fresh paint job. You're right. Very nice. Nice car. All right, so you have your, say, your second car here? The 67 Cutlass. I used to look in the little car trader magazines yep, yep, religiously. Yep. yep. That car showed up for $500. Damn. We drove down to Charlotte, uh, me and my dad and my uncle, with a tow truck. Mm -hmm. Offered the guy $250. He wouldn't take it. We left. He called us. We had to go back the next day. Uh, that was going to be 82. So you've owned that for two years by yeah. that point. Yeah, somewhere right in there. $250. Oh. And, and this is what it looked like? And the motor was in the trunk. Okay. Motor, no, it didn't look like this. It oh. was white, had white seats, white interior. My uncle had a 67 442 that later on his son drove, ended up wrecking it. And we got all the interior really? for this car. Is a 442 interior in this the same? Uh, close. <coughs> the door, basically I got the door panels, all the power windows, mm -hmm. air conditioning, swapped everything. This is just a plain Jane car. And we swapped motor, everything. What over. motor? Is that like a 330. 330? Had a 330. 330. Still 330. No. <laughs> it's had a lot of different motors. <laughs> we, we didn't rebuild the 330 that was in the trunk. We put a 350 in it to start with. Yep, yep. I blew it up. Mm-hmm. You're going, this is going to sound weird. No, I like it. We put a 5.7 diesel in this car at one time. One of those Oldsmobile deals? Yeah, in this car. I ran it for a long time with that. That was a, a diesel that was made on a gas block. Right, right. They never worked right. I mean, for, no, like, they for always like had three trouble. days they worked. They always had trouble. Anyway, <laughs> I think we rebuilt the 330. Strong motor. And I to this day, I can't remember what happened yet. Uh -huh. I don't remember. Yep. And now it's just a later model. Not much. It's just, it's just something I can drive when I'm... Very nice. It, it's, it's a, it, I can drive it. You know, you never see these cars. Like, I've been you doing this barn many. find hunter for like nine years. Right. We don't come across cars like this. They're, they're either rotted away under a tree or mm -hmm. junked or something. Yeah. That's nice to see. So, AC, power steering, probably full, fully loaded. Yep. I was going to say we'd start it up and listen. We can. If you want to. Yeah, let's do it. Let, let's pop that door open and see what it sounds like. Nice car. So I see some other cars in here. What about the 53 
mm -hmm. uh, belonged to a lady, gentleman and lady at my church mm -hmm. in Mooresville. Mm -hmm. It sat behind their house. My son used to take piano lessons from her. So I'd go over there and hang out when he was doing that. So I talked to him into selling it to me. I've had that car about 10 years. It didn't have a V8 when you no, got it? Okay. No, it had the, uh, Stove bolt the, six. Big, the big six cylinder. 213, 230? I think it was a 230. Kind of a resto mod, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever driven it like this? No, nope. I've driven it. I drove it one time to a little <clears throat> show when I first got it, and mm -hmm. it was rattling and knocking the whole way, and oh, I didn't oh, know if I was yeah. gonna get back home. You're gonna leave it like it is and just have a beer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the paint like it is. I'm gonna fix the back area back there. Okay, so there's three cars. And then I saw a truck over in the corner there with some kind of monster motor in it. Another project of mine that gets delayed, yes. 74 F100, and this was a, a Mercury Marauder front suspension like the Crown Vic stuff. Uh, so that was a big horsepower engine. It was engine. a big force 4.6. Is it double overhead double cam? Double overhead cam, yep. Did you bolt in like this whole chassis member? This aluminum piece. Okay. The, okay. These are the these are the stock frame frame okay. rails. The All aluminum right. cross member. So I guess the good news is you're busy with your business enough that you can't work on these. So I guess well, that's the that's the that's, that's good. <laughs> when business cranks up here in about a month, it's I can't. I, it's hard to get these worked on. Yeah. I you know it. what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, so we've kind of been ignoring this truck that's up on the lift. So what year is this one? 1985. 85 C10 Silverado. So it's got all the right trim. Chrome bumpers, trim around the fenders, side trim. Yes, sir. Bed trim, 100% original. It's got never been painted. 148 miles on it. 148 miles? That's all. Yes, sir. Can I open it? Yes, sir. 148 miles. Holy crap, look at the plastic still here. I have to see that odometer. 148 miles holy mac so a loaded c10 am fm it's got ac yes sir so it's got everything it's got everything but dual tanks i think is the only other how, how long have you had this 19 years did you buy it from the original owner i bought it from the original owner's son the original owner had passed away and so Dang. somebody bought a loaded truck and didn't drive it what was it, a, what, what what do you think he the story was is? Uh, he was just kind of peculiar i don't I hate to say that but He'd buy, buy cars and store them in a building and never drove them up in Yadkinville is where it came from. Wow. And he was a buddy. My, the, his son was a friend of mine. <clears throat> I'd known about it for years, trying to get it from him. And I traded him uh, the, the full-size blazer after this body style yeah, yeah, before yeah. they went to Tahoe's, yep. the two-door blazers. He wanted it, so we kind of traded out in some cash. 140 miles. This, is, this has like two days worth of driving on it. I think he drove it back to the dealership once maybe twice for something. I don't know what. So those are the original tires on it? Everything is original. How, let's see what the motor looks like. What does the motor look like that's that clean? <laughs> Man. It might be dusty. So you haven't like done anything to it? No. no. Like no, you haven't cleaned the engine or anything? No. So it's a, a 350 two barrel, I guess? 305 oh, four 30. barrel. Ah, 305, okay. So what, what's your intention for this? I mean, you can't- This one's gonna be for sale. This, this is, one is, yeah. I mean, you can't really drive it. No, that's the bad thing. Yeah. I, I like to go to the truck shows. Yep. I've taken it to a couple. I took it to uh, Americana before COVID. Mm -hmm. right, I think the last one before COVID. But You trailer it there or you drive it? I drove it there. It's scary to drive. With. How many can be like this in the world? I've seen a few pop up. One sold in Greensboro about a month ago. With like that kind of mileage? Yeah, he was right at 200. 200 miles. It had 200. What, what is something like this worth to figure? I can tell you what that one sold for. Sold for $113,000. Was it loaded like this one? Yeah. Silverado, yeah. It was Silverado, two-tone blue. Equal, equally nice? It's a pretty nice truck. Yeah. And, but it was the last year of the square body. That's one of the most special it vehicles is. we've ever found on the show. My God. We've never found a car with mileage this low anywhere in the country. Damn. Look at that, the muffler's shiny. Exhaust system shiny. This is amazing. Yeah, so this this is, you know, I guess a piece of vinyl shielding that protect the body from stones being thrown up with the front tire, hitting back here and wearing out the paint. And even that is getting checked with age. But this truck has never been outside. It's been stored inside its whole life. If you look at the, uh, the trim all around here, all that rubber trim, it's soft and pliable and clean. All the places that you can never wash when you're doing your, your waxing and stuff of your vehicle, all inside the hinges. 
original floor mats, original covering for the carpeting. This, this is really, as far as I can tell, it's one of a kind. Ignition key removal. So you still got the, the little flyer on top of the uh, sun visor. So if you follow Barn Find Hunter episodes, you know that usually we're taking out our valuation tool and pricing out junk cars, junk Corvairs and junk Volkswagen buses and things to see what their value is. But never has it been more appropriate than to do a valuation on this truck right here. So just for giggles, we got up the uh, Haggerty valuation tool. So if this car, this truck was in number four condition, which means a running but kind of a rough truck, it'd be 4,800 bucks. That, that's probably a good price. If I saw this truck in rough condition, in running condition, I'd probably buy it for 4,800. In number three, good condition, $12,500. And in number two, excellent condition, which means like almost perfect, 21,200. Now, if this truck were concourse condition, restored to really the best on earth, 35,200. You know, it kind of tells you how this valuation and this truck don't really work side by side because this truck is certainly in concourse condition, but it's only got 148 miles on it. It's not like it's been torn down to the chassis and rebuilt. So I think that $35,200 is, is uh, it could go a couple of times that number and still be a fair market value. If you were restoring a truck like this from the ground up, you wouldn't have the chalk marks, NOS exhaust system like that that's still shiny, original tires that a week's worth of driving, 148 miles. You could spend $150,000 restoring a truck and not come up with a truck that's this original authentic. If you're a truck enthusiast, a Chevy truck enthusiast, what do you think about this truck? What do you think of the color combination? A black Silverado, all trimmed out, fully loaded. What do you think about a truck that's got 148 miles on it that's uh, almost 40 years old? What do you think about buying a truck like this, not using it? Should somebody come and buy it and, and take it to shows or should it be left in a garage, be a trailer queen? I'd, I'd like to know what you think about that. Well, Keith, this has been a special morning. I want to thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for Tom. putting Good down your you. tools here for a few hours and, no problem. and letting us wander around. And thanks for sharing this truck. I, I'll never find another truck like this, I'm sure, in my life. So who would imagine, like, you know, this nondescript cinder block building on a side road in, in suburban Mooresville, North Carolina, would have something like this inside there? You know what? Every place is worth looking for. Every little place is worth looking for a vehicle inside like this. So happy hunting to you.